Drum Lessons with Hugh. Hey everyone, my name's Hugh Charles Walsh. Today I want to show you how to play some drum beats. There are three components that I want to show you that comprise most of the drum beats that you're going to play when you're starting to learn the drums. The first component that I want to show you is called an RB and it is played with your right hand where you tap your lap like this. That's the R and the B is for a bass drum because when you play the drum set you're going to be using your right foot to play the bass drum. So you can tap your foot on the ground like this. Play, your, play them both together, see if you can get them landing at exactly the same time. So let's do 20 of those together now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Cool, all right, so that's the RBs done. Let's try the next component, it's an R, which is no, ba no foot this time, just your right hand on its own. Let's do 20 of these together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, you're going well. Let's try the last component. It's an RL. So your right hand and your left hand, they're gonna land at the same time. No foot. Let's do 20 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. The next thing I want to play with you is a little game. I'm going to call out an RB or an R or an RL in a random order and see if you can follow and keep up with me. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to start with an RB, an RL, RL, R, 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 RB, RB, RL, 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 R, RB, RB, R, RL, R, RB, RB, R, RL, RL, RB, RL, RB, RL. RB, RL. How'd you go? Was it challenging? So that is a good thing to practice where if you struggle with that and you were like, oh, I don't really know what's going on, you can rewind the video and watch it again and try it as many times as you like. See if you can get them all correct. What you're practicing there is you're getting good at being able to go between those three combinations. So in the description of this video, I'm going to include a book uh, the PDF of a book that I've created called The Little Beat Book and it has 24 or 26, I can't remember, drum beats that use these patterns in them that you can practice. So let's have a look at the first drum beat of this book. I'll, I'll bring it up and you can follow along with the video. RB, R, RL, R, RB, R, RL, R, that's one. R, B, R, R, L, R, R, B, R, R, L, R. One more. R, B, R, R, L, R, R, B, R, R, L, R. Good. So let's have a look at how we actually move this on the drums now. Got my sticks here, and first thing we want to think of is how do we play those combinations on the drum set? Well, your right hand is going to live on the hi-hat. Your left hand lives on the snare drum. And obviously your right foot lives on the bass drum. 
If I'm playing an RB, it's going to be your right hand, which is playing the hi-hat, and your foot. Let's do five of these together. So that's five of those. Now we can try five R's. Cool. Now we can try five RLs. And that's it. Those are the five combinations. Let's try and play beat one together. And there you go, that's the first drum beat that's in that book. And you can see that by learning those combinations, you're able to play this, this beat. I'll play it for you a little bit faster so you can hear how it sounds once you get the hang of it. That's it. Let's try it a little faster. And you can go even a bit faster. This is getting, this is pushing it. So there you go. The more you play it, the more times you repeat it, you'll get faster and faster. So before we end the video, I'd like to play for you beats two, three, and four that are also on the first page of my drum book. And you can hear these beats and try and play along as well. So beat two. So there you go, those are the first four drum beats of my drum book, the little beat book, which you can find in the description of this video. So give those a try and remember to start these very, very slowly. Play them one combination after the other and take your time with them because the most important thing is getting them all in the right order. And once you get those all happening in the right sequence, then you can start to increase the speed and you'll be sounding great in no time. So thanks for joining me and I hope to catch you in the next one. See you later.